Hello, everyone. Welcome to this follow-up for Future Days by Can. Uh, what a fantastic album. Uh, the more I listen to it, the more I'm able to unpack from it. Uh, but it's it's a very dense album, and it's super mysterious, almost more so than Tago Mago. Um, let's go track by track on this one. I have it at a four. Um, honestly, these ratings just increase the more I listen to the album. Uh, it's a very listenable album, too. Um, there's great ambient work mixed with the anxious, anxiety and like frenetic nature of the percussion and some of the playing. Uh, so it's a very compelling listen, no matter where on the spectrum you are as far as how much energy you want out of an album that you're listening to. So Future Days, great intro to the tropical aquatic vibe of this one. Uh, largely hand on the percussion and bass tones, really nice there. Uh, Spray is an anxious track that gives way to more open sounds in the latter half. It's probably my least favorite track, but just by a little bit, it's still very solid. Uh, Moonshake, the percussion and guitars are the centerpiece here, a funky almost dance kind of track with an anxious backbone to it. Uh, and then Bel Air, uh, favorite best track here although it does just feel like a few tracks glued together like two or three uh i think that this b side is more cohesive than the a side um and uh it's a, a good insight into how the ethos of kraut rock kind of influences that very um cinematic post rock coming up in the later decades uh, but yeah, this album this album was great. I loved listening to it live on stream, uh, and I, I every re-listen I, I enjoy it as well even more. Um, and that's kind of what I love about Can is how mysterious their music is. And something that I said during the live stream was listening to Tago Mago. It's like th there's music that's about like you know emotions and people and either the singer or someone they know. Or there's songs about like, you know, events or like things happening, things that are a little more like rock opera or cinematic, you know, um, storytelling kind of songs. And Tago Mago is somewhere in the middle. Like it, it feels like you're connected to something important, but like you cannot put into words what it is. Um, and that's partly why I love that album, why I love an album like Lift Your Skinny Fist, because it's like... It's like you're experiencing a story, but it's like you have to fill in the pieces. And Future Days has that too, but it's way more dense and almost deeper in the ocean, so to speak. But yeah, great album. Uh, really dug it and dig it even more on every re-listen. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the, vid the video, the uh, follow-up. Until next time, Godspeed.